Micropipette. The micropipette is used for aspirating solutions at the microliter scale. It is an essential tool for biochemistry experiments. 1. Structure of the micropipette. At the top of the micropipette is a main operating button, which sometimes doubles as the volume adjustment dial. The tip ejector button on the side is used to eject tips. There is a digital volume indicator at the middle to display the current aspiration volume. Note the scale of displayed digits. The tip cone at the lower end of the shaft can fit various types of disposable tips. 2. How to choose micropipettes Regular micropipettes include four types. The P10, which has an aspiration range of 0.5 to 10 microliter and uses the smallest tips. The P50, which has an aspiration range of 5 to 50 microliter and uses medium tips. The P200, which has an aspiration range of 50 to 200 microliter and also uses medium tips. And the P1000, which has an aspiration range of 200 to 1000 microliter and uses large tips. Please choose the proper type of according to the experiment. For molecular biology experiments, the tips must be autoclaved, and the tip box is labeled with autoclave strip for distinguishing. 3. Proper pipetting with the micropipette. A pithy formula. Aspirate from the first stop, dispense to the second stop, and slide a little. Now I will introduce the proper pipetting technique stepwise using the P200 as an example. Step 1. Please twist the volume adjustment dial to the volume to be aspirate. Pay special attention to the scale of the digits. Step 2. Please hold the micropipette with four fingers. Free the thumb to operate the operating button for aspirating and dispensing the solution. Step 3. Open the lid of the tip box. Fit a tip to the end of the shaft with a slight twist to ensure a good seal. Close the lid of the tip box to prevent dust and contamination. Note, jamming tip into pipette is a bad habit. Step 4. Gently press down the operating button until feeling a resistance. This is the first stop. Press harder down to reach the second stop. You may practice several times until feel comfortable with it. Step 5. To aspirate, hold the pipette vertically, gently press the operating button to the first stop, and dip the tip into the solution to a depth of several millimeter. Step 6. Slowly release the operating button. Look closely at how the solution being aspirated into the tip. After the button is completely released, wait for another 1 to 2 seconds until the liquid inside the tip stops rising. Withdraw the tip from the solution, sliding it along the inner wall of the container. The purpose of sliding is to remove excess liquid outside the tip and ensure accuracy. Avoid bubbles during aspirating. Push the tip down along the drop of the solution surface if necessary, otherwise, the solution may not be aspirated. Keep the pipette vertical to prevent liquid from flowing into the pipette and damage the internal parts. Also, to prevent contamination, do not allow the tip contact with other objects. Step 7. Slightly tilt the receiving vessel and touch the tip against its inner wall. Gently press the operating button to the first stop and dispense the solution. Some liquid remains in the tip because of adhesion. Thus press the operating button to the second stop to blow out the residual liquid. Remove the tip from the vessel, sliding it along the inner wall of the vessel. Step 8. Completely release the operating button when the tip is in the air. Note, after dispensing the liquid, if the tip is still in the solution while the button is released, the liquid will be sucked back and cause problems. Step 9. Press the tip ejector button while aiming at the trash bin for used tips to eject and discard the tip. Step 10. Clean the pipette immediately after use. Set the volume adjustment dial to its upper limit. This shall protect the internal parts from elastic fatigue. 4. Maintenance of the micropipette. The micropipette needs to be calibrated regularly to ensure accuracy and improve experiment reproducibility. A simple approach to check accuracy is to aspirate a certain volume of water and measure the weight. Repeat three times and calculate the error. 5. Aspiration of special solutions. 
Solutions with a high viscosity should be aspirated more slowly or dilute the solution to a lower concentration before aspirating or cut the opening of the tip bigger or press the operating button down to the second stop to start aspirating and press only the first stop for dispensing. To aspirate an organic solvent, pre-rinsing the tip by dipping into the liquid and pipetting a few times first to improve adhesion. Then aspirate the needed volume. Six, now we demonstrate the entire procedure. We have demonstrated how to operate a micro pipette. Thanks for watching.